Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about addressing modes. Now, for designing any computer, for assembly language programming, we require to design the instructions. And for designing instructions, we are having the concept of addressing modes. Now, addressing modes has to do with the operand fields. That means the operand fields which we are designing into the instruction is based on the addressing modes. It provides the way of interpreting the address field of the instruction. That means whether the operand is direct data, whether the operand is register, whether the operand is memory. So it is depending on the addressing modes. So based on this, we are having various addressing modes and the benefit of having this addressing modes is we can define the programming loops. We can define the pointers to memory counter of the loops, indexing of the data, program relocation. It can be achieved by means of various addressing modes. And also it helps in, de in designing the instruction to reduce the number of bits in the instruction. That means we are designing as per our general basic computer, we design the instruction with 16 bits. So the number of bits can be reduced by using the addressing modes technique. So let us, we are having, actually we are having 10 addressing modes supported by our basic computer. So the list of them is in front of you. Let us discuss them one by one starting with the first mode that is implied mode. Now implied, the word is very much self-explanatory. Implied means in the instruction, the operand is implied. That means the operand of the instruction is implicitly there in the instruction. For example, our CMA instruction, complement accumulator, CMA. In that instruction, accumulator register is implied. So operand is implied in that particular instruction. So the implied mode of addressing contains the operand as register in itself. We, need, we are not supposed to explicitly specify the operand. So that is implied mode. The second mode what we are having is, second we are having is immediate mode. In immediate mode, operand is specified in the instruction itself. That means, for example, if we discussed, MOV R1, 0,5H means 05 is our data that is operand. It is not address. So 05 which is the data, it is hex data is to be copied to R1 as per this instruction. So over here we have specified the operand explicitly and the operand is data itself. So it is termed as immediate mode of instruction. Similarly, we are having the third addressing mode that is register mode. Now in that case, the operand is register. In the previous immediate mode, the operand was data itself. Over here, the operand is register. So register contains the data. For example, move AX comma BX means the content of BX would be transferred to AX. So over here, you can see the operands are register. So it is termed as register mode. So the instruction which contains the operand as register, they are register mode instructions. So the addressing mode is register mode. The next what we are having is register indirect mode. Now over here the operand would be registered for sure. But the thing is indirect means the register will contain some address and the operand is located at that address. So over here as you can see the example move R1 comma R2 means the value of register R2 would be transferred not to R1. Repeating it again, the register R2, the content of R2 will not be copied to R1, but it will be copied to the memory location which is stored in R1. That means the value of R2 is moved to the memory location specified in R1. So this is register indirect. Over here, R1 register works as indirect register mode. That means this R1 will contain some address and that address where we are supposed to put the content of R2. Next, what we are having is auto increment or auto decrement. Now it is similar to register indirect mode. Now in register indirect mode, what we are having is we will be storing some address in that register and the data would be transferred there. But over here we are adding one more feature of auto incrementing and auto decrementing. That means over here when we are referring to some table, that means in memory location we are having some array of data to mention those address locations, we decrement or increment the addresses. 
so at that time because in table we access the data row wise so if you want to access them so we need to increment our pointer so over here register would be working as a pointer so register indirect mode plus auto increment or decrement facility it becomes auto de increment or auto decrement mode next what we are having is direct address mode direct address mode means the operand which we are specifying in the instruction is address itself that means at that address our actual data is available so in this mode the effective address is equals to the address part of the instruction now the question arises what is effective address now effective address means the address where actually our operand or data is located so effective address is equals to the address part of the instruction so for example add 457 so over here the data is residing at address 457 So we are knowing add four five seven instruction. The content of the memory specified at address four fifty seven would be added to accumulator, and the result would be stored back into the accumulator. So this is direct address mode, which we are knowing. Over here, it's very simple. If we provide address in the instruction, then it becomes direct address mode. Similarly, we are having second. related to this addressing mode that is indirect address mode direct indirect that means indirect addressing so over here the effective address is equals to the address part of the instruction plus content of cpu register so it becomes indirect so in that case indirect mode if we say address of address so our actual operand is located at some address which is again specified by some address so effective address equals to address part of the instruction plus content of the cpu register next what we are having is relative address mode now in this mode the content of program counter is added to the address part of the instruction now it's it is to be understood very carefully in this mode the content of program counter we are knowing what program counter is program counter pc the content of that pc register is to be added with the address part specified in the instruction and that becomes our effective address so the effective address is equals to address part of the instruction plus content of pc so the actual operand is located at the effective address which is obtained by adding address part plus content of pc now in this case the address part of instruction what we write along with the instruction is a signed number that means it can be either positive or it can be negative also but the content of pc can never be signed because we know that the pc contains a address and address is never negative so this is relative addressing mode similarly we are having the next addressing mode to be indexed addressing mode now in this mode the content of index register now there is one more type of register that is index register which is to be added to the address part of the instruction so if we compare with the previous mode in that program counter was added over here index register is added that means the content of index register is added to the address part of in instruction and we get the effective address so you can see effective address is equals to address part of the instruction plus content of index register so the question arises where this index address in mode is used actually this addressing mode is used for accessing array from the memory we are knowing what is array because array is a sequential storage of the data so over here this index addressing mode helps us to access the array and the last addressing mode what we are having is base register addressing mode now we are having one more type of register that is base register and in this mode the content of base register is added to the address part of the instruction to obtain the effective address now basically this type of addressing is used when we are having certain displacement that means that say for example in the block of our memory we want to give certain displacement at that time we provide that displacement in base register and the displacement is added to our address specified into the instruction so basically in this case base register contains the offset 
and the address part of the instruction in that we add that offset and we get the effective address. So we have similar three addressing modes. So the one we are having is indirect addressing, second we are having is uh, register indexed addressing and the third we are having is base register addressing. So this is how the addressing modes are defined. So for our basic computer we are having 10 addressing modes.